Hey guys, SlySonic7 here, and we are back for part 3 of the Sonic Unleashed Let's Play. We are traveling to Spagonia, and we are riding the uh, tornado. Basically, this is be a one giant quick time event here, which is a little bit frustrating. We don't move at all here, so I'm trying to move the joystick right now, and not moving at all. Enemies are going to come in, and they're going to have different letters. Or, yeah, letters, I guess, because button the buttons are all letters. And we just got to press those buttons. And if we do, then we keep getting hit combos, keep grabbing score, and then we keep going from there. So, I would say not entirely um, super interesting in the sense. Um, sometimes they'll have like a combo like that, like you have to press them in that order, they'll have an arrow combination to say like it has to be like this. A couple things to say though, um, just to talk about things that are not the actual gameplay of this. Um, because I will say that while I appreciate them trying to be doing an event, an event like this, kind of like they did in the old Sonic Adventure when you're in the tornado, going from one place to the next and like, you know, it was a very interesting move around shoot thing. I think the second you take away the moving functionality from one of these uh, kinds of modes, it loses a lot of its value to me. There we go, cool. Um, and as a result, I think like it gets a little bit harder to kind of like fully buy into because for right now it's just one giant quick time event, which I would say is not the most thrilling thing you could ever have. But the first thing I want to note though is the design here of the uh, tornado looks stunning. Um, Sonic and Tails both look super clear to me. And I would say that one thing that Sonic 06, and I think this is just, I, I was uh, recently replaying uh, Rainbow Six Vegas. And <laughs> the thing that stuck out to me was just how old the game looked now. When I think, you know, when the Xbox 360 came out, it was such a like groundbreaking game. It was a platinum hit. It was a huge game. And I think that it's crazy to see um, even in a few years of the Xbox 360, just how much the computing power and the graphic design really improved. And I think you can really see that here is that in Sonic 06, one thing they really struggled with was like keeping up really good character models in the middle of uh, you know the levels. So you'd be having like this big, vast surrounding. And how do you make Sonic look good in that? How do you make other people look good in that? The answer is it's not always that easy. Oh, got it, cool. Um, now, the thing that really shocked me, though, is that they actually made a very, very large effort in this game to make sure that whatever you are controlling always looks very clean and crisp. And while I'll say that, you know, not every part of it's executed perfectly, like the idea of this, like, I think this would actually be a very, very fun uh, level if instead of pressing buttons, it was more of a trigger. Instead of, like, me being still, I can move around. Um, and here we see the latest creation of Eggman. Honestly, it's a shock this guy hasn't benefited society more because this is... Had, I mean, this has got to be the greatest analytical mind of our like of our lifetimes, and he's just not doing anything positive with it. It's kind of disappointing in that sense. Um, so for here, how it's going to start out is we're just going to be pressing the buttons as they come. Nothing different from how we started this level. Um, but he's going to give you a few openings here to kind of shoot in his mouth every now and then. His mouth, you know, like just the open door, I guess. Um, and again, I can't control the camera. I can't control anything. So if he slips to the left, it kind of just happens like that. Um, I think you guys get the gist of how this is going to go, so I'm actually going to cut to where we had the last hit, just because, to me, this is not the most exciting use of our time. Cool. Further comment, inadvisable. <laughs> Alright, so he's retreating, we finish off this level, he's going to go away, it's all good. And as a result, we have officially finished the level, and everything goes to white apparently, because that's what happens when you beat a level. <laughs> um, confused about that, but somehow um, we are actually right there. So thank God we didn't take more than 30 seconds, seconds or else we would have been fighting over the stage. We finished, we did all this total, got a C. Boo hoo. All right. <laughs> so here's Pagonia. Uh, we're in a new, brand new area here. And again, if you can see, there's you know, four moon medals. Uh, I'm gonna point these out as we go really quick, but at the same point, like, I think for future episodes, I may or may not be putting in the time to kind of show you guys exactly where they are, just because I don't think that, you know, I think that one fun thing about this is because these levels are small enough, they're actually super easy, not easy, but I would say like manageable in that sense of like kind of finding where they are. And frankly, sometimes if I don't exactly remember, it can be a little bit of a time suck on my end trying to find them. Uh, so let's see. Nope. 
So that doesn't work, so we're going to go back here and follow this, except we're not allowed. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to jump to when we find the first one. All right, guys, so we're going to break a flower pot over here, getting the first one over here. Then I'm going to check this one. I doubt it, but worth checking out. I see another moon metal right, under right underneath this tree. And again, like, I vaguely remember where I'm going in that sense, but I would say that a lot of this, honestly, is just kind of like having a suspicion, kind of looking around and finding. From what I actually remember, though, only two of them are actually accessible for right now in the, in the level. So we're going to actually jump in here and meet the professor. What? Professor Pickle's been kidnapped? The professor's been kidnapped? Oh, no! This old man showed up with a... and a, and a whole pack of robots. That's the greatest description ever. <laughs> Lab data and all. All right, so the professor's been kidnapped. I'm going to skip this because we have the basic idea from that. One thing I greatly appreciate is how they actually went back to more of a cartoony theme in this game rather than uh, the super realistic one they were trying for in the, in the other game. And we're not allowed to jump in these rails yet. Okay. So, yeah, so we can't get to any of the other medals for right now. So, we're actually going to head out of here. Uh, we need to find out where the professor went, so we need to talk to some people with the orange um, ribbons above their head. There we go. So she just told us that he is going to a place that's called Missouri, which when I first heard that I thought was just a weird play off of the state in Missouri, but apparently not. Uh, yep, yeah, so I told them that we, it's in Missouri, great, let's go. Okay. So now we instantly t teleport over to Missouri, which is basically this game's version of like an African village. So you can see like Spagonia would be like just a regular European city in that sense, versus this is much more of just an old school like African village. Um, we actually have the advantage here of just knowing that we have to go to like a mission. So I just jumped over to the mission side from there. Nothing too crazy so far though, which is good. So guys, what we're actually gonna end up doing in, in this episode is we're going to head to the very top. Can I get a first person view? No. Worth a shot. Um, we learned a new thing about how we can pull a block. We want to get to the very top of that. So the climb is, you can see, once we get to the first platform, not that hard. It's just getting there. So what we'll see is actually, if you just hold B here, you can just push blocks. Not the most co like complex of controls ever, so super easy to understand. And we're just going to pull that block over there and get ready to go. Because from here, it's just the normal jump up, grab, and swing around, and jump up, grab, jump up, grab, and here we go. Night stage one in Missouri. So, guys, here we go. All right, guys. So here we are in night stage two. A few things to learn here. First thing is that there are these flowers that will shoot out pellets that will hurt me. Second thing is if you look at my life bar, it is much bigger than it was in the last episode. And that is awesome. Um, again, beat him down a little bit more and then you'll see this uh, critical counter here will be super slow, which makes it very, very easy to get critical attacks. Um, so what we'll need really quick is to hold this, drag this, and have it sit on this button here. Nothing too crazy. And if we go to the left here, we'll actually find there's a sun metal. Now again, like before, gonna go back and find the other ones later, so I'm not gonna spend all the time on these. Just wanted to show you guys where some of these are, just so like, if you ever come back to look on your own, you understand it, and like it's not a huge confusion there. Um, so I was wrong, it's not about how close people are, it's just all only about how much health they have. So beat these guys down pretty sufficiently, I'd say. Um, don't really worry about the big group of them. And don't worry if you take out one of them out accidentally. Like that, that just happens when there's a group. But now as a result of me beating them up, I have a very, very easy combo right there for a critical. Super easy, super easy. And okay, now we're gonna do this one for me a little bit faster, but not too much faster, luckily. And we're going to take this guy out really quick here. And there we go. Now all we've left is the flowers, which is fine, but they are just annoying in that sense of you just need to make sure you time it to attack them after they spit out. So 
So as soon as he does that, he's completely harmless because he can't do anything else to me. Me touching him doesn't matter. Anything else doesn't matter. It's only about just dodging that one moment per se. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to push the block over here. There's a switch, so let's see what this does. I'm sure it does something. Okay, so can I press B at any point here? Pretty please? Come on. Really? Okay, we're gonna go this way. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't say it's the uh, easiest like system ever there to get it to read a control, but here we go. So we're gonna just jump up here. Jump up there. Okay, good. Good and good. And this is just because I know that the other side of the bridge has a switch, which means that we need to just push this block across. Nothing too groundbreakingly difficult here. It's like pretty like classic, like I wouldn't even say puzzle game, I would just say like easy puzzle game. Use that as a switch to get through to the next room. Now if you want to really look, there's actually a moon metal to the like somewhere in the back of this room. I don't really care to get it right now because it's a lot of work. And again, it's one of those things where I think the value to you guys is really seeing the level, not necessarily seeing how to get like a random moon medal. If you guys want to have the in-depth ideas of all the medals, I'm more than happy to go back and show you guys where they are in certain levels. But at the same point, if you are also just curious, there's a lot of different like online game sites that really, I think, list them out in very great detail. To a point where I think the better value that I can add to this game experience is really showing what this game looks like. You know, in practice, like what are easier ways to go buy it, things like that. Not necessarily what are easier ways to collect medals. And I mean, again, that's this is entirely just my envisioning of it. So please let me know if that is not what you guys have in mind at all, and like would want to have more of that kind of like walkthrough experience. Not like not with the game overall, but just with the medal specifically in that sense. And I'd be more than happy to change it up. But to my knowledge, and I think it's just because of like how the Sonic 06 Let's Play went, where I think there were so many silver medals, which were involved kind of replaying levels and things like that. Like, I think it turned out to be a better experience actually to not uh, end up actually having them twice, like not end up doing the levels twice or showing them on hard mode or different things like that. And I never really seem to get any complaints in that sense. Again, if you guys disagree, completely happy to change it up. You just need to please let me know, because if I don't know, I can't react. So, I believe this is one of those times where it seems like kind of like an instant death, but it's not really. So you see to throw this. Nope. So X button to throw enemies once you pick them up with B. Which will... There we go. And there we go. Get the Sun Metal. Cool. So honestly, like, continuing this level, like it's not a terribly hard level. I think the biggest issue for me is that there is... I, I will say right now, I've never gotten an S rank on this level because there's always this one fall that no matter how hard I try, I always die at it. And if I died at this time, like unlike the other ones where I said I was going to like replay in all those parts, this is one that I think because every single time I've played through this game, I've died at it. I think to me, it's almost just like it's a fitting way to have that level go. So I actually will not uh, restart on this one if I die at the part. I'll let you guys know when it is, just so you guys can keep your eyes peeled. Um, but I would say that um, while there's other ones where, like, you know, I think that if I've done it before, I'll feel, like, you know, dumb for not doing it this time, I can never say that I've actually done this one. So I think the feeling to me wouldn't be the same. So down here, once we beat up all the enemies, just like before, we're going to turn the wench, uh, wench, why did I say wench? We turn, we turn the, uh, the slutty woman, and push the block over, just like before, hop on top, and just like before, grab on. All pretty similar in that sense. Jump on, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy, good. Now here we can jump inside and get like a random like book that will have like some parts of like the game making to my understanding. Don't really care about that. Cool that they have the collectible for sure, don't get me wrong. Here, because I see the sun metal literally right in front of us, I might as well just go get it. And now we just jump over the wall, and here we are in the next part. Here you can grab on with B, shoot yourself up and grab with B again, shoot yourself up and grab with B again. And I'm going to, you can also shoot yourself to the right. Now, this one, they're going to show this really quick. If you want to jump, you can grab an enemy, then grab an enemy, and do that, which saves a ton 
ton of time when it comes to uh, certain levels. Like, you actually don't have to worry. No. Okay, good. What? No, I didn't want to. Oh, okay. That's why. I pressed crap again. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that if I have this, I, uh... Not what I want to do. Okay, let's grab that guy again. We're going to wait for this one to come back. And we want to be able to throw this to the right. There we go. Makes our life much, much easier. And Moon Metal. Which is the reason why I also want to do this, just to show you guys where it was. Um, so again, we're going to try this. Okay, did not die. That was very, very lucky, considering we fall a lot. A um, little nervous with these, but relatively should be okay. Come on! Okay, good. Um, oh, there's a Sun Metal down there, too, if we want to just do that. Um, the Sun Metals on the... So, they do the opposite. So, the Moon Metals on the Day Stages and the Sun Metals on the Night Stages are not hard to find. It's actually the, one, the ones that are much harder to find are the ones of the same uh, suit. So, the idea of a Night Stage with night metals and day stage with day metals or sub metals um so here easier if we actually want to just take out a flower or two to start off good and let's take this one out just one last thing blowing at me good all right and whittle these guys down a little bit here again do not mind if you take a couple of these guys out i would say just whatever makes it easier for you to control the other ones in that sense See, so now that I have that guy in, like, basically no health, super easy, got the critical, which is better than, like, you know, leaving the other ones around. A and X, good. And now this guy is all alone. Let's see what you got. Okay, you got a little bit left. I'm going to whittle down and B with Y. Perfect. So, again, there's two flowers left. Let's take these guys out really quick just so we can control the rest of this. And this green here, I think, is a full life. There we go. Perfect. That should be good. Okay, and box, and... Oh, so close. Okay, need to raise it a little bit. God damn it. Okay, I think that should be enough. If, this, if that isn't enough, I'm just going to cut to one on top of it. Don't worry. And just got it. Cool. Okay. So, no real complaints yet. I'm uh, going to open the door, see what happens here. Still moving, still moving, all good. And actually, holy crap, I didn't realize I actually made it all the way past um, the drop where I usually die. So now we're actually, uh, this looks like a weird thing, I, I know it does, but uh, at the end of this is uh, actually the goal. So basically there's gonna be a set of, like a wave of enemies here. So we're gonna go into Unleash here. Just take out some of these guys, make it easier. And with you, we're going to critical, because you have no health. So we're going to take the easy points. Perfect. And again, with the higher unleash now, we have this lasting way longer than it used to. So now we have A with A. Perfect. And let's get a couple of last quick strikes on this before. Okay. So now our unleash is over. That's fine. The issue here is there's no uh, coin. So your life is just what it is on this part. So making mistakes here on trying to kill these guys is actually super costly. Which is, again, not to say super each time, but super annoying. Alright, you're gonna die. And I hope that this might be the last one. Nope. As I say it. Um, Okay, you're gonna die because I want to make this easier. Oh no no, I see a oh that says shield. Never mind. I felt like I. Okay, good. I can go into unleash. Okay, we're gonna go for a combo, a combo, critical, and I want to say this is the last guy. And goal ring, perfect. So time, 12 minutes, all these things. Another S rank. That is the first time I have ever got an S rank on one of these levels, guys. So freaking pumped. We're going to be using all four of these on life. 
And as you see next time, it's eight, because that means it's really, really good. And we're just going to go there. So, guys, this has been Sly Sonic 7. We're going to watch the end of the cutscene here, but then I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. So here we discover the professor, Pickle. Professor Pickle. I don't know why, why I don't know why I want to keep saying Professor Plum. I think I'm thinking of the game Clue. <laughs> professor? Um, hello? So basically, we just break this guy out of here. He's complaining about the cucumber sandwiches that they give him. I hope I'm just never this particular when I'm that old, like three quarters of an inch thick bread, things like that. Slice thinly, if you please. Am I quite right, Tails? And he knows who Tails is, apparently. Oh, I learned something here today. Professor, it's good to see you haven't changed. Oh, okay, so they've apparently been working together before, which is good. The menu is hardly worth the trip, if you ask me. <laughs> the menu is hardly worth the trip. Professor, we came here to rescue you. So press the button, just lets him go. Oh wow, that's super nice. Even has the stairs and everything. Talk about hospitality, Eggman. Good of you, man. You can file a complaint later, Professor. Let's get out of here before Eggman's welcoming committee shows up. Oh yes, quite. Sonic just looks the opposite of cuddly when he's like that. You figure if he was fluffier, he'd be like more cuddly. He just looks terrifying with those teeth and everything like that. Nice punch, man. So now he got some. Oh, it's one of the like scrolls or something. So we'll see what these are when we get there. Let's go. There's no time to lose. After being fed nothing but those terrible sandwiches. After being fed nothing but those terrible sandwiches. My my, don't mind if I do. Aw, so nice. Sharing is caring, guys. All right, guys. So. With this now, we have just rescued the professor, which means we can start to understand how we can really re reverse the course of what's been happening in this game so far. So, guys, this has been Sly Sonic 7. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys... Well, actually, no, we're here, sorry. I keep trying to end it. <laughs> the Gaia manuscripts, they tell the legend of a disaster that befell our planet. And apparently there's talk about... Let's see. According to the guy in manuscripts, Chip keeps trying to destroy that like little cup he has there. Isn't the first time the plant's broken apart into pieces? So basically he's going to say now that at the very be center of our core is uh, this creature, Dark Gaia. The hyper energy organism spawned at the planet's core. Dark Gaia. And of course, just like any other game, you have to make up some kind of like mythical quest that has to happen with this. Luckily, our pro the antagonist has not been full does not have his full powers yet. How convenient! Which gives us, the protagonist, time to react. Love when the games are these are this convenient. So when you return the power to the chaos emerald, it seems easy enough. You need to tra travel to each of the temples listed in the Gaia manuscript, which will start coming becoming available to us on the world map. And completing those stages, putting in the Chaos Emeralds to recharge them, and then reconnecting a piece of the planet is basically going to be the idea of this. So, without further ado, guys, for the third time, let's see if this finally works. This has been Sly Sonic 7, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.